Hello everybody, this is Ruben Soriano from Digital Depth and today I'm going to show you how to mix uh, our drivable cars advanced pack with your own projects, in this case advanced locomotion system version 4 it will also work for version 3 so let's take a look at it hope you enjoy it To make it work, just be sure you get our latest update. If you don't get our latest update, it will not work. So it's very important that you get our latest update. First steps we, we're going to do is migrating our content to ALS project. So right click on the main folder and click on migrate. OK and search for the proper folder remember to migrate it on the content folder make sure you have everything migrated here and now next step will be as usual exporting our collision input and physics in a file so let's go to driver cars advanced pack edit project settings and we will just export those ini files that would be a good idea to name it so you can identify them And now go to your your project in this case advanced locomotion system and do the same just for the input ini file go to project settings input and just export this file name it correspondingly and once you're done you're ready to mix both input in files to do so open both of them ALS on my left side of the screen and advanced pack on the right side as you may have seen in other tutorials you just need to copy all action mappings from this lower part and axis mappings if you have your own action mappings and axis mappings just make sure that um, these mappings don't have the same name and the same mapping that you have on your own project so um, to make it easy we will just copy all of it and we'll make some space here and we'll just copy and paste now you just need to close and save overwriting ALS input file input ini file now let's start by importing collision from the advanced pack and physics from the advanced pack as well and before importing input I recommend restarting your project just to avoid some issues to make sure import action is successful just expand all action and axis mappings and import this ALS input and now you will see that your action and axis mappings have expanded 
it will probably not work if you don't restart your project before so do it as I say we'll, we can now close the cards advance pack and now we would be ready to just use um, our cards let's try it let's go to blueprints uh, draw our cards advance and let's look for vehicles cars and any one of them for example this one if you drag your car and you see it without wheels or extra parts it's because probably you have had some problems importing a collision and physics file so make sure you do it properly and you restart your project as I said let's play now and as you will see this simple um, integration tutorial is ready for you to drive your car as we have said on, pre on previous tutorials, um, you will need to apply a physical material to the floor to avoid the, the car from slipping. So um, let's get this floor mesh. We will open it as an asset and we'll select the static mesh and we will apply our asphalt physical material once done if you click play you will see that your car behaves properly over this ground so this is the most basic interaction you would probably like to have your own driver inside the car this is already explained on basic pack and ALS tutorial and in this uh, advanced pack tutorial we will show you how to make an advanced integration so you can also see the character entering the car with our enter and exit animations. In that case you will not need to change the driver's mesh. So let's go for it and to start we will um, need to retarget one of our uh, mannequins uh, animation, animation blueprint. Let's open this skeleton go to modify pose and use current pose now go to animations mannequin and select this this second animation blueprint the one that's named third p advanced anim bp and right click on it retarget anim blueprints duplicate anim blueprints and retarget select your mannequin in this case ALS mannequin skeleton and just retarget it I would suggest copying it to a new folder so let's make a new folder And now we are ready to mix both animation blueprints. This first one. And you will need to copy a couple of things. Let's go to animation graph. This first yellow box is the first thing that you will need to copy. So just select it and copy it. And now paste it on ALS animation blueprint. We'll open this ALS Anim Blueprint and 
on the anim graph we will just copy this section before the output goes we'll paste it we will link it and now if you compile the blueprint you will get an error that's because you don't have this variable created so just right click on it create this variable compile and it should be working now we will also need to update this linked anim graph to the one that you retargeted so select the linked anim graph select details and on instance class just make sure that the one that it's referenced is the one that you retargeted so let's click on it and this one as you can see on this window below you will see that it's placed on the retargeted anim um, retargeted anims folder so this is the, the right one we will compile now save it and we will do the same with the event graph yellow boxes so let's copy both of them let's go to ALS and in blueprint again and in the event graph we will go to the animist instance section we will paste everything here to have a quick access to it and set passenger reference needs to be linked after initialize anim instance and advanced animations need to be copied so cut it and go to update graph and it needs to be copied after the update event which is this one it needs to be copied here so the, the most effective way to do it would probably put a sequence here so the rest of the actions take place normally and we will link it on the second sequence pin if you compile you will get an error again this is because again we don't have this variable so we will do the same as before and last thing you need to do is going to ALS base character blueprint which is in the folder character logic and you just need to go to class settings and change its parent class to DC advanced third character. We'll compile, we'll close, and we should be ready to go. As you can see, your enter your exit and enter animals are already working. Of course, you can see that this character is higher than needed. We will uh, show, I will show how to fix it uh, right now. But as you can see, everything is working properly. And one last thing that you will see here is that you can also enter the rear part of the car, which is one of our latest features. And that was, there's one more thing you may want to fix before moving on, which is that you can move meanwhile you are entering the car. This is, of course, something that, that we don't want to happen. So let's 
uh, avoid it. To do so, just open again your carta blueprint and in the player input graph we will expand we will add a couple of things on the movement input we will just add a branch here which condition will be enable movement We'll include it on the second option as well. And now if we click play and we try to move at the same time that the guy that this guy is entering the car, you will see that you can't do this. So now we're almost ready and if you see that your cutter is too tall, you just need to go to this car. I recommend going to its base, its parent class, which is this one. Changing a feature on this car will change features on all its, its child blueprints. And something that you may want to do is just selecting driver and co driver. You can find them here. driver seat and co driver seat just select all these three things and we can move it down a little bit let's see how it looks now and as you can see it's seated with a more proper position. So that's it guys, I hope you liked it. And just write our videos and subscribe if you want more videos like this one. Thank you.